Storm Door Guy here, and today I'm going to show you how to install a wind chain correctly. So let's begin. First, um, this is the wind chain. This side right here that's connected to the spring is what attaches to your header rail right there. So we're going to set the spring down for a minute. You're going to take a tape measure and you want to measure 19 inches. 19 inches from the hinge side of the jam. We're gonna go 19 inches, make a mark roughly there. And then you're gonna take, again, this side of the wind chain and mount it like so. It'll be at kind of a 45 degree angle pointing towards the door. Um, incidentally, the door is currently open at 90 degrees, which is how far I want it to open up. So, at that 19 inch mark, you're going to take the longer screws in the packet, there should be two of them, and again, we're going to pivot this to 45 degrees and mount that. So your chain will be hanging down just like so. There we go. Notice the chain is connected to this little piece, which is connected to your header rail. Now, we're going to take the second piece, which they might look a little different depending on the brand you get. Uh, this one has a little piece like so, and a little S-clip. You might have one that looks like a T. They kind of go on the same way, you just want to connect it so it hangs kind of like so. Now, with our door open, you're going to extend the chain as far as you want it to go. So you want to make sure you're below the header here so that when the door closes, it doesn't hit the header. Usually, it's at the top of the window. So I'm going to take a drill bit, and I am going to pre-drill holes because this is a steel door kind of like so that's as far as I want the door to open and then you're going to take the shorter screws take the shorter screws that came in the packet and you're going to mount those here And number two. So your chain is going to look like this. You go 19 inches from this point out to the center mark of the uh, jam bracket here. This attaches to the header. Open the door to 90 degrees, mount the other piece here, and the wind chain will be doing its job. So the door opens, all of the force momentum of the door is redirected to the spring. So we're going to go ahead and close the door now. And now you are going to be looking for the lowest point on the chain. Right now it's right here. Sometimes uh, this will go horizontal and there really won't be a lowest point. Just pick one of these sides then. But we're going to take that side and come over like so. Sometimes you might want to adjust it and take the one right next to it so the chain is kind of out of the way. So we're going to take uh, this guy right here. And we're going to connect a spring to that. That would be this little guy right here. This spring is going to connect right here. And be careful, you will uh, break nails or things like that because you've got to actually kind of separate this a little bit in order to get it to wrap on the little bracket here. Come on, buddy. This is what we call a lesson in futility. <laughs> a 
Come on, buddy. This is officially the hardest part of the job. So once you get it started, twist the spring until it locks itself in there. Oh, patience is a virtue, but waiting sucks. <laughs> Get this guy on there. Come on, you. <laughs> this would be a great place to cue the cheesy elevator music. correctly it's so like I say if you don't have the time to do it right when are you gonna have the time to do it over there we go so that's on there like that perfect that's how it should look now we're gonna split a couple rings down here open them up so it looks kind of like that now, in the package, you'll see a spike. Kind of looks like that. You can spike this up here just so the chain stays out of the way. My personal preference is to take a screw and go into the side of the door, though. Right here, like that. I think that looks a little better and it keeps this out of the way more. So now, your wind chain looks like that. We're gonna open the door and you should see this nice little set of triangles right here. So again, measure from here to here, 19 inches. This mounts your jam bracket. Open the door completely and then drill and attach the door bracket here. Close the door to find the middle point of this chain. That's where you attach your spring and then attach the spring to the door jam itself or using the spike straight into the header. And that, my friends, is how you install a wind chain. For this and other helpful tips, follow my YouTube channel or visit stormdoorguy.com.